<laughs> Every time. Just one scoop, yeah? We whipping out the OG gym chart today, by the way. Those who watched from first year will remember this. And we're also whipping out these. And you know what that means. It's a leg day. Watts do not half make me sweat. Uh, turn this down for copyright. We are starting today's leg day with barbell back squats. The king of all leg exercises. Or well, some people might say anyway. Some people hate them. I like them. We are pyramiding up. We started off. I've been using a lot of pyramids lately. I'm liking pyramids lately. Hint, hint. We started off on one 10 kg squats, 10 reps. One 15 kg squats, eight reps. We're gonna shift it up to one 20, six reps. Stay there, work our way back down. Job's a good one. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can see by the start of today's video, and as you can see by the title, thank you for tuning in today for today's leg day video. Drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, welcome to the family. Let's get it going. my first time properly hip thrusting with uh oh for god's sake let me turn this down so i've never actually as if i just got up and then got put down on the floor hang on so this is um my first time doing it properly i've experimented with hip thrusts um but just like for a set on extremely lightweight, body weight, just the bar. Moved on to 110, either side. It's tough, man, and it, to be honest, it's an exercise that I've neglected, um, an exercise that I'm sure many of you watching at home will have neglected as well. It's a very good, very important 
exercise for building the glutes. It's just an overall good functional movement. That, to be honest, people, um, again, like I say, myself included, it's just one that people neglect, people don't do, especially guys. You see girls in the gym doing it all the time, they've seen it on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Guys watching at home, do not be scared to try a hip thrust. Guys need some thrust strength too. Oh God, that song guys, I have a very big, very good video planned to that song, listening to it for the good vibes, you know, stay tuned, that will be a very special video. The hip thrusts, nice low weight, nice slow steady contraction, really squeezing the glutes at the top, squeezing the bum together, <laughs> what am I doing with this, squeeze the glutes together. Nice and slow, nice and steady on the way back down. You'll feel it in the glutes, you'll feel it in the hamstrings. If you've just done squats, you'll struggle to hold yourself up. But give it a go. Don't knock it till you try it. So today is mostly a hypertrophy focused day. Um, one thing I'm thinking of doing is having kind of different emphases, emphasis, a different emphasis. Let me turn this down, oh my God. I'm thinking about having different emphases. Emphasis, having a different emphasis on different sessions throughout the week. A um, few times a week and kind of obviously focus on different things. Different from push pull legs, different from upper lower. Um, you guys will see I have something on the cards and I think what well, I know once I plan it out properly this is going to work for me. Okay, so today would be more of a, a hypertrophy focused day so sticking within hypertrophy rep ranges mainly around eight obviously we started off with the pyramids which is a little bit different we've just done eight to ten on hip thrust that felt good moving forwards leg press again in and around that rep range not only am i trying different exercises different uh rep ranges and all that kind of stuff i'm seeing how my body reacts to doing different exercises in different orders one, whether I enjoy it or not. Two, how my body reacts to it, whether the pump feels good, whether the fatigue is like any good. If I can tell that I'm fatiguing a little bit quicker than what I normally am, then that tells me personally that it's something that I need to do on the basis that my body isn't used to it. I'm getting more tired more quickly. That's a great grammar, Liam. You know what I mean? If I'm getting tired quicker than I normally am, it's because my body's not used to it. And so, boom. That's what I have to do. If something is difficult, do not avoid it. If something is difficult, do that. Master that. Do it once, twice, three times a week. If, you, if you're mastering, you know, people struggle with calves. People train calves every single day. Bad, bad example, I'm rambling, but you get the point. If it's difficult, don't avoid it, do it. Pull-ups, for me, ages ago, like a good, good year ago or so now, um, if you've been watching the channel ever since then, I neglected pull-ups. I just couldn't do them. My, my back lat strength was just horrendous. My body weight was a lot higher than it is now as well, and so I really, really struggled with my pull-ups, and so I just didn't do them. Do not do that. Do not, please, 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 if you find a squat hard, if you find a bench press hard, whatever your hardest thing is, really dial in on that shit, focus on it, and do it as much as you possibly can, because that is how you're gonna get better at it. You're not gonna get better at it by avoiding it completely, and then five years down the line, when you jacked, you've got massive biceps, but no legs because you've not been squatting, do it. Trust me, please, you will regret it otherwise. Only just now am I starting to include stuff like hip thrusts, which when you step on stage, you need big, well-developed glutes. And I, you know, I've got a fat ass, but it's body fat, it's not muscle, okay? So I need to build that up for when I eventually want to compete in the future. Stuff like that, do not neglect the little things. If you find it difficult, not even little things, if you find it difficult, just do it, man. Just do it. Here we go again. We're back at it again. It's a leg press. I'm gonna get 10,000 reps on the leg press. Gonna get my feet ready and focus. It's mad that you can have this much fun on your own in the gym, 
right? This is literally my playground. I love every single second, I appreciate every single second that I'm in here, because this is freaking paradise. Look at it, man. <laughs> right, come on, Liam. Get your head in it. Focus. Get your head in the game. On a serious note though guys, training should be fun. Like, that, don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for freaking serious, pound it out, like, you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, but uh, if you're not enjoying it, you're not gonna stick to it. And I love every single session in this place. Every single one. Yeah boy. Right. Hammy's up next. Finish off strong. Oh no, we've got calves. You can't forget calves, people. Do not skip calves. I love training calves. Do your set, Liam. Come on. Ten reps. Come on. said about it being fun. Jeez. 250 kg in total there. I mean, the depth probably could have been um, a little bit better, but the control was there, the contraction was there, and my God, I felt it. I'm gassed now. After all of that, normally if I did something like that, it'd be earlier on in the workout, or wouldn't have done pyramids on squats, I've introduced hip thrusts. Calves. Another hammy exercise. Then we're gonna throw something in a little bit different. A little bit of hit. Let's see how that goes. Guys, I don't often get angry, but fucking hell. You know, people do this all the time, people complain about this all the time on social media, and I always think, God, how stupid, how stupid are you? Just deleted a bunch of footage, because my memory card is out. Deleted the wrong clips. And to cut a long story short, I'm finishing with this hit workout. I've done two rounds of it already. I'm gonna show you the third now. I mean, I hope you can tell by the look on my face and the sweatiness that I've been doing too. 10 kettlebell swings, 10 goblet squats with a push, 20 second sprint on the bike. Three rounds, here's round three. Please believe me, oh my god. Three. Oh. 
You know you've had a good session when you're struggling with an eight kilo kettlebell. I'm going by the timer on here. Okay, three, two, one. Turn it up. That's a wrap, people. Leg day, hypertrophy, gains. Bit of cardio, so we're in a deficit. If you're new here, currently in a dieting phase, trying to get rid of some of this puppy fat. <sighs> that was good, considering I've done cardio on the bike for the past previous two days in a row. So I've gone in with fatigued legs. I'm not exactly recovered, I'm not exactly fresh. Done all of that today, a lot of volume, a lot of reps, a lot of weight in total. Very, very happy with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed my pain. Drop a like if you have, comment down below. Let me know if you try this workout. I've been doing a few of these workout videos, you guys seem to be enjoying them, so I'm gonna be doing a few more, especially in the run up to body power and post body power as well. So subscribe if you're new here for plenty more gym content, vlogs, body power, trips, Actually, I haven't got any trips planned, but I might do soon. <laughs> okay, so I'm rambling because I'm gone, man. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Together, we will grow. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Where my eye? Ugh.